everyone, in today's video I'm going to be doing a huge makeup clothing collective haul. Now I didn't get all this in one day, a collective haul means that you've collected products over days or weeks or even months. So just a little disclaimer, I'm not trying to brag or boast in any way, shape or form and I do hope that you guys don't see me as showing off. So without further ado, I'm going to hop onto the makeup side of things first because that is the biggest part the whole video. Firstly I'm showing you the Baby Lips Candy Wow Lip Balms. This one's cherry, this one's peach, this one is raspberry and this one is mixed berry. Each lip balm has a tint to it so it isn't just a clear lip balm. They all smell really good like berries. They also are pretty cheap. They are $5 each and I got these from Chemist Warehouse. And I only think you can get them from Chemist Warehouse because I've been to a few price lines and I've been to Target and they have a Maybelline section and they don't have these in. So I'm thinking you can only get them from Chemist Warehouse. The next items are the Astralis Velva Lips. Is it Velva Lips or is it Vel R Lips? Vel R Lips. But these are just matte lip creams. This one is in the shade Mellow Nude. This pink one is in the shade Poochie Min and this other nude one which is just a little bit more pinker and deeper than this one is called Honolulu. I'll give you a swatch of my favourite one which is Mil Anu. I hope I'm not pronouncing these names wrong. That's just a swatch. I might as well just do the rest. This is Honolulu which is a very pigmented pink. And the last one is Poochie Min. I know I've just said the names, but I'm going to say them again so you don't get confused with the shades. This is a really bright pink one, which is sort of out of my comfort zone, but it's not that extreme that I don't wear it. Okay, so I've got two more lip products, and that's it. I'm really addicted to lip items, you can probably tell. And I got those Astralis lip creams from Priceline for nine something or other. This next item I got from Trade Secret, instead of being 22, it went down to eight, which now has gone down to five. But this is just the... Now, Pauline Pertis set Lush's Lip Shine in the shade Berlin. It's a really Kylie Jenner sort of lip color that I'm wearing right now, although I don't know if this is Kylie Jenner. It is pretty pigmented also. The last lip item is the Maybelline New York Color Drama Intense Velvet Lip Pencil in the shade Nude Perfection. I have been looking for this for quite some time since they all came out, and the first one I wanted was Nude Perfection, and of course, that's the one I couldn't find for the time. So I finally found it, and I really did have to pick it up, um, because I thought I was going to go out of stock again, and then I found it in another shop, so I'm like, Obviously, it was the most popular lip pencil there is in the collection, and now everyone's getting the back in. I'm going to put it next to the brown lip gloss. This, I think, is a more Kylie Jenner lip color. It's got ready undertones to it, and honestly, these are amazing. They're so pigmented, they last forever, and they really have a good range of colors. I've got four, three of them being pink, and this one being nude, because I don't like the deep colors really apart from brown and I got that color drama lip pencil from Target but I know you can get them in price like also along with chemist warehouse and I think like every other drugstore or chemist there is in Australia so that's all the lip products now I'm gonna do the eye products and I've only got three items for this the next things are two Chi Chi eyeshadow palettes one in sunkissed and this one in naturals these are $22 each like it's so pricey I got these two in a pack for $30, so I saved quite a bit of money, but really they are super pigmented. I really recommend Sunkissed. They're really natural, but then they've got like two colors that I really love, which are probably the brightest colors, but they're my favorite because they are so good for winter and autumn. And this one, my favorite eyeshadow probably has to be this one here. It's really nice and natural, except it's shimmery, so it just packs on a little extra something. The last eye item is the Maybelline New York Lash Sensational Mascara. Now I'm half and half on this. I really love the formula, but sometimes it clumps so much on my eyelashes. I'm just like, mm, I'm just going to take it off and use a different mascara. So really, you have to be a little bit careful. But the wand is amazing. I've never seen a wand this like type of style. It really does coat every lash, but this is probably the best mascara I've ever tried. Other than it clogging on my eyelashes sometimes. Now I'm going to do the only eyebrow product, which is the new Maybelline New York Brow Precise by Eye Studio Brow Pencil in the shade Soft Brown. 
it. I'm wearing it today and I think it may be just a little bit better than Gimme Brow. It is really good. But that's the colour. Matching it to my eyebrows. It's a little light but it is so buildable guys. You can build it up to really dark or you can do it really light. It's such a good product. It also comes with one of these. I forgot the name. I also got this from Priceline. I'm going to leave all the pricing and every product I mention in the description because I don't remember the prices of the products I'm about to show you and those last two products I showed you, the mascara and the brow pencil, so all the information is going to be in the description. Now the rest is base. I'm going to start off with the primer, which is new to Australia and it's the Maybelline New York Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser Primer. This is amazing, I really love it, it makes my skin so soft. It's like clear silicone, but it's not as thick as I thought it was going to be. It's really nice and lightweight. The packaging is also super cute. The next item is the second BB cream slash foundation I've ever bought. I've tried the Maybelline one. I think that broke me out because it was a little old. So I wanted to buy it again, but I went, no, I'm actually going to go for something different. This is the Rimmel London BB Cream Matte. It is 9 in 1 Skin Perfecting Super Makeup. It has SPF 15 in it and it's the shade Like. It's the lightest shade I could get. This makes my dry patches stand out, so like around here. Um, so someone suggested to put moisturizer with it. I'm not too sure about doing that because I think they'll make it thinner and make it have less coverage because I've actually done that before and I found it sort of made a little less coverage and this is a baby cream already so it's not going to give you full coverage so I'm not really sure but I really like the colour like it suits me perfectly and this is the lightest colour and it's pretty like it's pretty dark for being light like instead of being ivory but I actually am going to try out this with moisturiser to see how it goes. The next item is powder and this is the Maybelline New York New Matte Maker. There's been different packaging on this in like different countries and I think it came out in different packaging in Australia. I'm not sure. But this is the shade Natural Beige and this is my new favourite powder. I've gone through various powders. Not really. I went through the Clear Complexion, the Stay Matte and now this and I'm really liking trying different new powders. And my product actually fell out like the first time I bought it. I couldn't actually open it because it got stuck between the grooves in the lid. This next item is a new product, not just to Australia, but everywhere else. It's the Maybelline New York Master Sculpt Contour and Highlighting Powder Kit. This is in the shade Light to Medium. It just comes like this. It's like the highlighting blush they released. It also has like the brush and the mirror. And actually this brush is a lot softer and really good for contouring. When I do use this contour, I do put powder over it just because I don't really like to wear contour. I'm not the biggest fan. So that's all the makeup. Yes, that is a ton of makeup, but I did not get this in one day, guys. So the clothing part, I got everything from Trade Secret. So the first t-shirt I got is what I'm wearing today. This is what the t-shirt looks like. I got three t-shirts in this style. And yeah, it's just plain grey. This is curled back. And it's just a really nice crop top, basically. I like this t-shirt and like the two other t-shirts I bought because I've been wanting just a plain dressy casual shirt. So I got two other t-shirts in this style but in different colours. So I got one grey one, one white one, and these were $13 each, $12.95. If you've been to Trade Secret, you'll see it says they say and then we say. It says they say $30 and we say $13. Let's so say like $20, which is crazy because I wouldn't have got these t-shirts if they were $30 dollars each because that's just insanely pricey. So I got that white one. It is a lot sheerer than the grey and black one I got. So all these t-shirts were the same price, but I just got them in different colours. So here is the black one. I only have two other clothing pieces. So I'm going to leave the price for this one to last because it's ridiculous. This is what the skirt looks like. It's just black and white and it has white flowers with black polka dots as the center and then white polka dots and black background. It's also got a zipper at the back which is silver. It comes just before the knee. So let's just talk about the price. It was a bargain. It is $17.60.95 and the original price from I'm guessing the actual um, place 
it was originally $49.95, $50. The last item is the jumper I had to get. Then I saw the price and I went, no, no, I'm not picking that up. It's black and white and it is a knitted jumper. So like it's got the holes in it so like you could see my face probably. Um, these sleeves are so long. <laughs> At the back of the jumper it has a gold zipper. It was $13.95. This is the discounted price. And the original or the they say price was $50. So it wasn't discounted that much. And that's why I didn't really want to get it because it was $40. So that is the end of this makeup and clothing collector haul. The clothing part wasn't really collective, but makeup definitely was collective. I really enjoyed making this video, so if you did enjoy it, don't forget to give this video a like. Don't forget to subscribe because I'm pretty close to 1.2k. Also, all the information will be in the description box to the pricing of the makeup and clothing I bought, and also links to the website. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys next time in the next video. Bye!